YouTube VC music lovers. Thank you for joining me for another video. Hopefully you had an excellent Labor Day weekend. I had an amazing weekend and I will tell you why. Um, first of all, I want to show you, just to kick things off, I want to show you a grail that I bought over the weekend for a steal of a deal. Now, I got kind of negative feedback on this, which didn't make me too happy. You know, there's snobs out there who are only into certain pressings. Um, I didn't care because I got this for $20 and I don't see this for less than $50 around. So I think I got a really good deal. This is one of my favorite records of all time. In fact, it is in my top 10 if I ever, ever get around to doing a top 100 list. Um, and I had the CD forever. This is actually a second copy of, uh, this one came out in 2012, but has the mono and stereo versions. So it's like, you know, my second CD copy. Pet sounds, all right? I tried finding the information on Discogs, but there are so many entries for this one album that I, I kind of gave up after five or six, um, searches for it so maybe you guys can help me out if it's a first or second pressing i know it's an early pressing but it's pet sounds by the beach boys now i got this for 20 dollars from a lady here in town who um is putting her collection up for sale she's got a lot of 60 stuff i think she might be having a garage sale soon but i got first dibs on this i got this i got crap because it says duophonic on there so there's a lot of people who don't like duophonic however let me show you this copy and by the way in the corner here it's dt2458 and then uh, this copy plays beautifully there's nothing wrong with this copy it is near mint condition i mean not a scratch on it it's per I was thrilled. I was like, oh my gosh, $20 and I just scored an early version of Pet Sounds. Honestly, I don't really... First pressing, second pressings, as long as it sounds good, that's all I care about. And this sounds excellent. I don't care what you say about, oh, that's duophonic, ew. Like, I got a bunch of negative comments, so I just took the post down. Like, screw that. That doesn't really matter to me. Um, I have an early copy of Pet Sounds and my weekend was made just with that so another grail found all right and then i got a bunch of free records from a woman named elizabeth that i met off of the neighborhood app i forget what the app is called um anyway she said she was going to be getting rid of, rid of some of her records and if i wanted to come and take a look at what she had and i said yes so i actually went over there two days the first day um, I bought Electric Ladyland, which I did not have on vinyl. Now, she wanted $15. I only had $13 cash on hand, so she took that. I don't know where all the naked ladies are, but this, I guess, is a different, you know, censored version. I will show you the label. This actually doesn't play as nice as I would like it to. It's on reprise. It looks like the early reprise label. Um, unfortunately, there's a skip on a song I do really like, and that is the 1983 song, A Merman I Should Turn To Be. I've tried working on it with the scrubbing bubbles, but I'll just have to get an upgrade copy in the future. Anyway, this is all I bought from her the first day because, um, she wanted ten dollars a record for everything else, and I just didn't, I just didn't have it, so I just left with this. And then later on, I think I, I texted her like, "Thank you for the record." Um, actually, there's a skip, and she said, "Oh, well, you know, if you can't get it out, I'll give you your money back." And I said, "Okay, I'll try another cleaning method." And then I just shared her, or I shared with her my youtube page and she's like that's really cool and then she recommended a band to me called uh lake street dive which i really dig so that was cool anyway the next day i'm rambling i know the next day i went back to her house 
or excuse me, before I go into that, um, no, she actually texted me later and said, you can come back over and just take all of these albums for free. I was like, what? That made my weekend. I was like, are you serious? Um, and she said, yeah, but you, you just have to take the whole stack. And I was like, I can do that. <laughs> so, so Chris and I went back over there and picked up this, um, stack here. I'm not, I'm just going to show you kind of the highlights because, um, there are a few more upstairs, but they might not be able to be um, salvageable just as far as scratches and such. But I'll show you the highlights here. The first is Bill Withers, still Bill. Now, unfortunately, this copy is not very clean. So, um, but you know, it has Lean On Me and Use Me. This is, this is a great album right here. I just might have to upgrade in the future. Now we've got Kenny Rogers, Eyes That See in the Dark. And of course, this is the one with um, his song, his duet with Dolly Parton, Islands in the Stream. I'm just going to show you guys really quick because I have, you know, more to get through. Sneak Attack from Buddy Miles Regiment. It's a double LP. Some of these I, I just haven't listened to yet. Can always use more doors in my life. Um, I have this on cassette right here, this greatest hits, but you know, I love the doors, so anything from them uh, <laughs> I'm interested in. Uh, Jackson 5, looks like this is a live, yeah, it's a live album here from their later years. Um, 1981 is when this came out. There's a checklist in there. Then there's a bunch of cool Ray Charles stuff in there. The first one is Ray Charles Live in Concert. Next is Ray Charles in Person. One of his early albums, I believe. Oh, I know there's another one in here. Here it is. Another one that's called In Person. I have listened to this one and it sounds really good. So I have some Ray Charles in the collection now, which I didn't before. Another Hendrix, which I had never seen out in the wild around here and it's just called Crash Landing. I have not listened to it, so I don't know the background on this. Maybe it's a compilation. Richie Havens, The End of the Beginning. I wonder if this is an 80s album. 70s or 80s, I believe. It doesn't say. I'm slowly working my way through these. Very stoked to have Braceland from Paul Simon. Uh, I listened to this a lot growing up, so I'm familiar with it. It's a classic. Rumors, I don't know if this will be an upgrade copy for me yet. I will have to spin it. I've been needing an upgrade for a while. Stevie Wonders, Hotter Than July. I believe Alex Spins Vinyl just showed this one in his recent video. Los Lobos, La Pistola y El Corazón. And it's a promo. Prince, I believe this is his second album. Really good. You got I Wanna Be Your Lover, Sexy Dancer. <laughs> that's, that's a fun listen. Isley Brothers, three plus three. I love what they're wearing. Um, of course this one has that song, um, Who's That Lady? You guys, I'm sure you've heard it. There's some great guitar work in that song. Um, Parliament. Really excited to have some Parliament now. Funkin' Teleki versus the Placebo Syndrome. Very interesting listen. Paul McCartney, Tug of War. Wow. Well, apparently, uh, Matt Hayes was telling me this is his comeback album, uh, 1982. 
and I really enjoyed this, although I may want to upgrade this in the future. So as you can see, there's some varied, varied stuff in here. Oh, this is one of my favorites from the bunch, Aretha Franklin, Aretha Now. Wow, this is just a stunning album. I'm sure a lot of you have heard this, so I won't talk about it too much, but um, the song Nighttime is the Right Time, I remember hearing that on the, oh, what's that movie called? Girl Interrupted Soundtrack, so I think that's where I first heard it, um, this whole album. Wow, I guess this is my introduction to an Aretha album, like listening to one the whole way through, and what a good place to start, right? Marvin Gaye's Greatest Hits. And then, <laughs> I've never seen these anywhere. Two Run DMC albums. Um, this first one, King of Rock. And this one I haven't spun yet. The other one I have. These guys are awesome. And this one, I love this. Raising Hell. We were just blasting this over the weekend. Um, this is the one with, you know, Walk This Way. They did the, with Aerosmith. Um, I really like the song Perfection. You got my Adidas on here, Peter Piper, It's Tricky. Every single track on here is awesome. So uh, that's very nice to have. Those are the, the free records. What do you guys think? That was extremely generous of Elizabeth. Elizabeth, if you're watching, thank you again. I am really enjoying these. I still have more to clean. There's stuff from War and Isaac Hayes back there, but I just kind of um, went through the highlights because it would take too long if I showed every single thing. Two more finds I want to show you recently. Um, someone recommended this to me on Instagram. Uh, Million Records Away, I think his name is. This is a David Lindley album, and it's El Rayo X. And this came out, what, in 1981? Now, I think this guy used to be in the Psych Bank Kaleidoscope. I could be wrong. Um, that's a cool little tidbit, though. <clears throat> anyway, he does some good covers of Bye Bye Love, Twist and Shout. This is just like uh, an album of varied musical styles. There's a lot of reggae influences on here, which I really dig. It's just a fun listen, and I only got it for $3 at my local store. So that was really um, a nice surprise find. And then finally, oops, I don't have the vinyl in here right now. Shuggy Otis. This is my first Shuggy. This is Here Comes Shuggy Otis. Now, I got this for $5, um, only because there was a slight warp, but it doesn't affect the play at all. So I was like, yeah, if it doesn't affect the play, I'm going to spend $5, definitely. What a talented guy. Um, so this is like psychedelic soul, I guess. Um, blues rock, great blues guitar stuff on here. If you haven't sampled Shuggy Otis, I highly suggest you get on that. Um, I'm sure Jeff Kempin would love this. I know Andre recently showed a Shuggy Otis album. I'm gonna be getting more because this was fantastic right here. Okay, now on to VCLT I got from Ben over in Austria. I have Austrian heritage, so um, it's really cool to get something from over there. Ben is an awesome guy. His name is Quohead84, I believe, and as his name suggests, he's a huge status quo fan. I'm just kind of now discovering them myself, so I don't know too much about that band, but he's got a great channel. I will put a link to his channel down below. Definitely check him out. He likes Tom Petty, Linda Ronstadt, status quo, lots of classic rock. Bruce Springsteen, check him out, you guys. He's and he's super nice. Um, so what I did, I haven't seen what's in here. I just used my razor blade before, and I just kind of unsealed, unsealed the top here, so it'd be easier to open on camera. Um, yes, I waited a whole day to open this. Got it yesterday, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to film right now, so I'll just wait one more day. Anyway. Let's open this together. <laughs> I'm really excited. Hopefully I can find something to send Ben's way in the future. Um, ooh. Everything's kind of hidden, so I don't know what's in store for me. Oh my gosh, <laughs> right here it says some goodies for Scamper. 
It's Snoopy treats. Oh, it looks like some um, like sticks of some kind. Tomato, carrot, apple, and I don't know what the last word says because this is in uh, foreign language, Austrian. <laughs> Scamper would like that, I'm sure. Thank you. Nice of you to think of him. Okay, we got some bubble wrap here. Um, oh, there's a note. I'm going to read the note last because sometimes there's spoilers and I don't want um, anything to be revealed beforehand. Wow, this packaging is cool because um, see how there's like 45s there in the center? They fit in this um, cool bin. Okay, let's see here. Oh, cats. He's told me about this group before. Oh, nice. There's like saran wrap over all of these. That's This is good. Good packaging here. Let's see what's in here. So one way win from cats. Yep, I really need to check this group out since you have talked about them before. I am curious. So one way wind and country woman on there. Oh, <laughs> Olivia Newton John's physical single. Look at that picture slide. <laughs> I do like some Olivia Newton-John. She's great. So yeah, this has physical and the promise, the dolphin song. Sorry for the horrible glare. We've got some daylight finally coming in this morning. It was very dreary and cloudy. Ooh, some Linda stuff. Linda Ronstadt, get closer. And sometimes you just can't win. Yes, we are fellow Linda fans, for sure. Ooh, Blue Bayou and Poor Poor Pitiful Me. I love the Simple Dreams album. Wow, this is nice to have. Thank you, Ben. Awesome, awesome 45s there. There's more in here. Let's uh, move on. Wow, there's quite a few albums in here. Um, okay, let me set this down. It's all saran wrapped. So let's, let's start off with what's on the top here. Once I get the saran wrap off, I'm gonna do my best not to look at um, the side labels or anything. You did package as well. We got some more music from the cats here on top for the first album, Take Me With You. I'm really curious to hear these guys. Um, Looks like this, I'm not sure what year this came out. Printed in Germany. Ooh, it's a gatefold, let's see here. Let's show you the label, EMI Columbia. Very nice. And then the gatefold here, look at all that hair. <laughs> nice, very excited to hear this. Wow, there's quite a few albums in here. Ben is spoiling me. Uh, oh yes, a status quo album. I never see their albums around here for some reason, you guys. I'm not sure why. Um, this one's on the level. I was just telling Ben that I was sampling like their singles, their early singles, like 66 through 71, I think, on Apple Music, and I was really digging their stuff. Let's see here. Ooh, this is a cool label. I don't even know. Vertigo. It looks awesome. So this, 1975, cool. I've got another gatefold here. I'm really excited to dig into this. This is my first status quo album listen. Awesome. Very exciting. Oh, cool. Linda Ronstadt's Living in the USA. Nope, I do not have this one yet. I have seen it around. You guys recognize that cover, I'm sure. This is one from 1978. So I really like that period, um, her 70s stuff anyways. I'm really liking her 70s albums so far. 
This is Asylum Records. It's kind of hard to tell at first. Very cool. I've been meaning to get some more Linda, so you really kickstarted that. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was just about to buy this probably in the next month or two. It's Steve Earle's Copper Road. This is so cool. Um, this album is rated very highly. So this is a reissue. Wow, Ben, I can't believe you sent this. Let's take it out here. So, so far, this is on Geffen. Wow. Wow. Still in the shrink too and everything. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so my Steve Earl collection so far, I just have Guitar Town and um, Exit Zero, but really, really like his music. Um, it's kind of like alternative country. So, yeah, talented guy. Wow, this is so cool. I can't believe you sent this, wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this last thing is killer. You guys, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be an original copy of Violator. Oh, are you kidding me? Y'all know how much I love Depeche Mode. 1990 Mute Records. Oh my gosh, I've never seen an OG, I've never seen an OG copy of Violator anywhere. Oh my gosh. This looks to be in very good shape. So if you don't know, Depeche Mode are my second favorite group of all time behind The Who. I know. I have a very um, strange top five list. Um, I'm sure you guys know, but whew, this is one of my favorite albums from them. I'm hoping to do a Depeche Mode ranking video at some point. I'm not sure when that's going to be, but stay tuned in the future for that. Wow. Ben, you outdid yourself here. Look how many albums he sent me in 45s. Oh, the note, let me read this note real quick. Hi Hannah, here's a little something I thought you will enjoy. If not, just feel free to pass it on to someone else. I threw in some cats for you since you mentioned you like to check them out. They played a mixture of pop, folk, and rock. Their song, One Way Wind, might be cheesy, but it's kind of a lovely song and I'm very fond of it. I also threw in a status quo LP to introduce you to my favorite band. It was my first album by theirs, and to this day remained my favorite. As for the rest, surprise, surprise. Always looking forward to your videos. Please keep up the great work. Also, kind regards to Chris and Scampy. Ben. That was a very nice note. Thank you so much. Wow. What a package. You guys spoil me. Um, I will be sending out more VCLT soon. I have something to send to Matt Hayes shortly and also robert nyc guy raised on records but i'm trying to make the rounds here and do what i can i'm gonna end this video because this is way too long thank you guys for sticking with me this far just wanted to show you those free finds and this awesome package from ben thank you so much and woo, finally got it all right you guys take care until next time peace